This video will take you through the process of how to use the DECRA Adaptive Mobile app to enter observations. Once you have logged into the app, it will take you to the My Activity dashboard where you can see your goal information. At the bottom, you will see an Enter Observation button. Click on this button to open up the observation page. The observation page is going to list the information that your company is using to track observations. At the top, your organizational unit is going to be automatically selected if you only have access to one location. If you have access to multiple locations, it's going to automatically pick the last location that you used to enter an observation for. This allows you to quick, quickly and easily enter observations for information that you already have. If I wanted to change the location, I can click on the location and pick another location that I have access to. The checklist information is also going to be pre-populated based on the information that you picked last time you entered an observation using the app. So if your company has multiple checklists, you can pick another checklist. Once you pick the checklist, the bottom information is going to start populating based on the information that your company is tracking on that specific checklist. The next field is Observer. It's automatically going to put your information in there based on the fact that you've logged into the app. If you do need to enter an observation for someone else, you can pick their name in the dropdown. The date and time field are also going to automatically populate based on the date and, the date and current time. You can change that by clicking on the date and changing to the date that you need. For this specific checklist and for this specific company, they are tracking these specific fields below. Based on your company's checklist, your fields below may look different. So for this company, they're wanting me to pick an area that I'm observing, a department that I'm observing, and a shift that I'm in. If I need to remove any of these and change them, I can click the little X next to the selection and select a different one. I also have a field for tasks observed that I can click in and type. You also can use voice to text within the app if needed, as long as your device has this capability. So I'm gonna put in what I did when I was observing. And then again, this specific checklist is asking for if this was a coached observation. So if it was, I can pick who the coach was. At the bottom, I also have the ability to add files. So I can click on the file upload icon if I'd like to upload a file. I can at the bottom here, in the bottom right, I can add a picture or a video while I'm doing the observation. Or if I already have a picture or video saved to my device, I can go to add files, select image or videos. So I'm gonna select image. This will bring up your camera roll where you can select your specific picture. So I'm gonna tap on the picture and hit done. Then it will bring up your pictures where you can then go to select image again, select a video again if you want to add multiples. If I want to annotate or make changes to my picture, I can click on it. It will show a little circle in the right hand corner. So I'm gonna check with a little checkbox so I can hit edit. Um, at the bottom, you're gonna have some options, different editing options. So if I want to maybe add, you know, some color to it to show the exposure, I can. I can either reset it at the top or hit save. So I'm gonna hit save and you'll see that the annotation I made has now saved to the picture. Once I'm done editing my pictures or making adjustments or you know adding all the images I need, I need to make sure that I've selected them all and so they all have the little um, 
blue circle with the check mark next to it. And once I've selected all the images that I want to attach to my actual observation, in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to I'm going to hit add selected files. Once I've done that, my list of files that I want to attach to the observation will list. And if I need to, I can remove them with the little trash can on the right. Then I'll just simply go back to observation header to take me back to the observation. Now you'll notice next to the file upload button, there's a, there's a little number one. So that tells me there's one picture attached to this specific observation upload file button. Once I filled in the basic information for my observation, I'm going to want to click the details button in the top right hand corner. This will pull up the CBI checklist that I am needing to work on. At the top, depending on your company, you may have more company specific information that you need to fill in. So for this company, they have some additional information that they're wanting me to add. Once I have added that information, I'm going to see my checklist information. I'm first gonna see the category and then the exposures within that category that I am observing. To enter an observation, depending on your company, your observation sheet may look a little different. For this specific company, they're allowing the employees to have multiple safes and multiple at risk for one exposure. If your company is only allowing one, then you will not have this option over here on the right to add multiples. So it's very easy to go through my checklist as I'm doing my observation. So you'll just click on the exposure state that you're wanting to select for that exposure. So I'm gonna say line of fire for this specific um, thing I'm observing was safe. And I'm just gonna go on down the observation. If you are going through a checklist and you're not observing a certain exposure, you can just skip it and it will be marked as NA um, if you don't select safe or at risk. So as I go down my checklist, maybe I have ergonomics and you know I saw three safes with that. So I can use the right hand side to add multiple safes if my checklist has that option. So you can see how it's very easy to scroll through the checklist to complete your observation. So for personal protective equipment category, the first exposure is head. I'm gonna put that as an at risk. And for this one, I'd like to add a comment. So I'm gonna click on the comment icon. And this will bring up any company specific information that you need to enter for an at risk. So for this company, I need to enter a comment. So I can use the keyboard or I can use voice to text to add that comment. And then there's also some additional fields here that I need to add. Once I've added my information, I can hit observation detail and it will take me back to the checklist. If I want to go back in and edit that comment or those fields that I entered, I can hit the comment box again and I can make additional changes. Another feature available per exposure is an upload file button. So I'm gonna click on the upload file button here on the right. And just like when we were entering a picture at the beginning of the observation on the observation header screen, the process is the same to add a picture to an exposure. So at the bottom, I have the option to add a video or picture while I'm doing the observation, or I can hit add files in the upper right hand corner. I can select an image or a video directly from my camera roll on my device. I then can select that image, and if I want to annotate it at all, I can hit the edit button. Or if once I've selected all the, vi the videos or images that I want, and they have the, the circle with the check mark in it, I can hit add selected files to add them directly to my observation. I also still have the trash can on the right if I need to remove a specific image or video.
then I can go back to observation details. And now I'm going to see a little one next to my file upload to let me know there's an image attached. Then I can continue on down my checklist and complete any information needed. At the bottom of the observation, it will have an additional comment box that I can add additional information if needed. Once I've completed my observation, I can hit save. This will save the observation to the device. If you are in Wi-Fi or cellular uh, connection, it will sync back to the site. If you are in offline mode, you will need to go back to Wi-Fi or cellular range before the observation will sync back to the website. So if I want to review the observation that I just entered and see that it's saved to the device, I can go back to observation header in the top left, go back to my activity, and it'll take me back to the main page. In the upper left hand corner, I can click on the menu icon and go down to observation list. This will show me all the observations that have been completed on this device. The observation that I just entered in the ID column says not yet synced with server. So that tells me that's the one I just entered and it hasn't synced back to the cloud-based system yet. When the ID number for the observation appears, that's how you will know that the observation synced back to the site. If at any time you need to go back to an observation and make a change from the device, you can simply click on the observation from the observation list page and it will open up the observation. You then can make your change and hit save. And once you're back in cellular or Wi-Fi range, it will sync those changes to the site as well.